All right, so this falls into the, the stores aren't open, I need to get a project done, and I don't want to wait. So this is what I need. This one broke off. You can see it's just like a regular kind of screw. So I'm going to fabricate these with one of this thing with just what I have sort of sitting around. So um, let's go ahead and make one. And of course, all I have is a busted 7 8 but that's for this particular one. 7 8 is about the closest you're, I, I'm going to get in size. So I'm going to go ahead and drill a hole here down about, you know, quarter inch, whatever it is. Okay, so what you want now is uh, a lid. This one is HD or LDPE4. Uh, the HDME2s work. Any of this stuff will work for what we're doing. And what you want to do now is you want to cut this into some small pieces that will fit in the hole there. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So you want. You know, that might not even be enough, but you want, you know, to get a decent amount like that. It takes, took me literally a minute to cut that stuff up. And so from here, what we want to do is we're going to put some in here, right? Now, this stuff, I, I know that HD, I think it's HDME, it's the, the other food grade. I think 350 degrees is what it takes to melt it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this with a heat gun and we'll go ahead and start melting it. So even though this is wood, I don't know how well it's going to do its thing. I'm going to go ahead and just put some vegetable oil in there to maybe help get this thing out. It's not really going to make a difference. Once the plastic hardens, you'll be able to pull it out anyway. But um, and if you don't, you can just force it out around the wood because it's going to be uh, pretty hard. So I'm going to go ahead and put my, my plastic pieces in here. And we're going to see how that melts. You see it starting to melt there a little bit. You have some time to work so so there we go now I just have to work my screw in there my piece to the foot for that and then we'll fashion the plastic around it Now when this when this cools it should contract around that screw and it'll be it'll be tired starting to do it already. Okay. So now I'm just going to let this cool 
and we'll come back. So we're just going to try to pull it out. And even though, so look at how that came out. So I'm going to trim it up a little bit and get rid of that there and uh, show you what that looks like. All right, so after a couple, just a minute or so with the sander, this is what I have. Other than the obvious screw up of not getting it actually in the center, it worked out really good. It's a foot just like that's a foot. And uh, it's a little bit bigger, but in a pinch, it will do. And that's how you can fabricate little plastic pieces in a, in a hurry if you need to. Just like that, melt some uh, HDPE2 or LDPE4, whatever it is, and go ahead and make your little part. You can spend more time on it if you want to make it look, you know, a little bit better, you know, maybe focus on getting that in the center. But it it's hard right on there, so I don't have to worry too much about it. I'll probably dress it up a little bit more, but looks good to me. So there you go. So if you look, now you can just put your your foot right in there, right? And it's pretty much going to function the same way as the originals, even mine that's crooked. But there you go. That's it. And it took me literally five minutes. I mean, you can make them nicer, cut ridges in them like that if you want. But there you go. Uh, looks good.